What is going on guys? Uh, today I'm just out here in a small place which is uh, called McCulley's. Just uh, just outside Sussex, New Brunswick. But uh, we're camped here. Camped. <laughs> I'm parked here at, uh, this is the far end of the Animal Land Campground. I don't know if that's like a camping spot. But uh, yeah, we're parked here today. We're going to hit the trails. Uh, got my dog Wendell with me of course. He's got his hunter's orange on. Grizzlies loaded up, ready to go. We're gonna hit the trails here, just uh, right by this campground. Uh, if you guys were ever wanting to come here and uh, you know explore the Sussex trails, this is a pretty good spot. Uh, there's a few campgrounds all along here. There's uh, Pine Cone right across the road over here. Obviously, Animal Land, and just down the road, there's uh, I think it's called Three Bears Family Camping. So, if you guys wanted to bring your like uh, big trailers or tents or something you guys could do that it's like I was saying this is the animal land campground looks like there's trailers and stuff here there's all kinds of these little uh, <laughs> like piece of artwork and stuff I don't know if they're supposed to be I don't know what they're supposed to be but trails just right down here uh, this is the trailhead the 3401 uh, the pine uh, pine cone campground is right down there so either one you want to stay at and back further towards the highway was the three bears so this is the trailhead gives you the size of the machine that can fit through 72 inches registered guests and ATV trail pass holders only of course I'm a trail pass holder so that's good So we've got some signs here. we got Sussex is 60 kilometers, Creek Road 34, and Piccadilly. Now I know Piccadilly has a real steep hill there. I think I do have to take that. Be cool to get on camera. I did hit that trail before, but that was a long time ago. Actually, this is the exact same trail I took in my very first uh, camping video on ATV. I went out to Martin Head with my buddy Jordan. I think that one says uh, two Grizzlies, 200 kilometer trip, something like that. I'll. Uh, Tell you what, I'll put it down in the description if you guys want to check out an older video of mine. I guess I'll say too that we're heading out towards uh, Poli Mountain. That's the ski hill there uh, near Sussex. And it's not far from uh, from uh, Friar's Nose. So if you guys remember that from my other video. I'll show you guys this. Uh, this has, uh, we have these all along our highways to keep moose from crossing the highways. So this is a one way uh, gate. So if they actually somehow get on the other side and they want to get through, they can pass through there no problem. But for them to come this way and get through, they can't, they can't do it. So just in case you guys are wondering what those gates were or why there's a fence all along the highway and heavily populated moose areas. Basically from Moncton right to northern New Brunswick, <laughs> it's all fenced along the highway just to keep the moose off because they're so dangerous. I guess another announcement is I passed uh, 7,000 subscribers recently so I just wanted to give a big thank you to all you guys uh, subscribers and new and old and everything I really do appreciate it it does take a while for any of you guys that are that are uh, starting their own ATV channel I know a couple of them there Arizona kid and he's messaged me a few times and uh, a few other people asked me about starting a channel I think everybody should I love seeing all the different areas But, uh, yeah, it does take a while, so it's... So 
So, uh, as you guys can see, this is a pretty, uh, pretty steep hill here. I think this is going to lead us to Piccadilly Hill, which is really, really steep. There was actually an accident there not that long ago. Some people tried to make it up and they hit a rut and I think they might have been doubling on ATV, but I can't remember. And uh, just kind of a bad luck thing. Apparently the person driving was an experienced rider. But uh, you know, stuff can happen man, you want to be careful. But uh, yeah, I think they hit a rut and they flipped the machine on its side. And So in 100 meters, we've got a steep hill. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be Piccadilly Hill. And uh, definitely if you come this way, you're gonna to wanna to try and keep a bit of momentum to get back up. I, I find it worse, uh, I find it worse coming up this way, but it looks like they actually brought a machine in and did a little bit of work. This is way better than it used to be. Yeah, they definitely came in and fixed this up because this wasn't always like this. Uh, we used to come up here and even in four-wheel drive, you'd be getting to the top and you'd be losing all your momentum. Yeah, they came and fixed this up a lot. This is a hundred times better than it was. Maybe just, uh, you can see how much they actually dug away. I think this trail was up quite a bit more and it was even more steep than this. If I remember correct. This is where it helps to have a really good engine brake. I mean, I'm not touching the brakes. Just kind of let the, uh, have it in low and let the motor slow you down. Looks nice with all the leaves though. But all right, we better uh, get going. The trail's actually a bit sloppy. Uh, they must have came and did some work here and then we got some rain. Low range is probably a bit overkill for this, but uh, if you definitely, if you don't feel comfortable, definitely put her down in low. So these are probably the, the type of trails that my buddy uh, Scotian and uh, Q were making fun of me. They say my trails are like paved trails down here. <laughs> God, I had a laugh at that. There, just give me a little crap talk there. But uh, yeah. So this ATV trail goes here to the right. It's kind of nice, Sussex, Sussex does uh, these little entrances for the trailheads. I mean, that's pretty cool, I think. Sussex Valley All Train Club. Still on the 3401, it gives you the width. I see they trimmed it out to make 72 inches. Right here, see? It's a lot of the bigger side-by-sides are 72. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna take me to a, uh, to a farm, if I remember correct. It's a pretty beautiful spot. I'll try to get some good footage there. So yeah, it's been a it's been a hot minute since I've been on any of these trails. Years and years for sure. But uh, they're definitely awesome. If you guys wanted to come check them out, definitely uh, shoot me a message or something, and I can uh, tell you places to stay. Uh, I heard a few people on the Sussex Valley ATV. Facebook page and the lady was saying that she works I can't remember the name of the hotel or motel and she's talking to the boss to try and uh, put together a package uh, for a cheaper room rate for people 
with ATVs traveling. Dang. Holy, it's pretty cool. It's all rock right there. And then I went and installed my uh, Rotopax uh, fuel pack. And it's a 1.75 gallon, which is a, I'm pretty sure it's a 6.6 .6 liter uh, fuel can, which uh, should serve me really well. Um, no more worrying about running out of gas or finding gas stations. It's funny, I used to have a Copeland one, the same one like Cubby, or not Cubby, but uh, my buddy Jerry at uh, Quadding Zeus has. He has two of them on his uh, Rincon, or, uh, Rubicon. I had one like that, but it uh, it developed a crack in it, and I I still have it because I'm just cheap. I won't throw it away, but I'm hoping I can get it fixed, use it some results. So as you're still traveling on the 3401, you're going to come here, and you can keep going here to the right, and that'll take you uh, you know towards that farm. I'm pretty sure, or you can see the picture sign here to the left. And uh, that'll take you out to one of the bluffs, uh, big look-off area. There's a lot of these in Sussex. Um, just obviously keep in mind that you're going to come to a pretty steep drop-off, so just watch out for that sort of stuff. Pretty cool, a little fence built here out of all, looks to be cedar wood. Check out that. So over there's Poli Mountain, that's where our destination's gonna be. See all the rolling hills here in uh, Sussex. It's just gorgeous here, I love Sussex. Look at that. Hopefully it shows up pretty good on the GoPro. Maybe we'll fly the drone around. You got a little spot here if you guys want to come up here and have a lunch with your family. As you guys can see, there's no trash. There's a trash uh, bin there. Seen something on the tree there. <laughs> There's a little symbol there stuck on the tree. It says a uh, little historical fact here about uh, this hill. It says, uh, in 1832, on this spot, nothing happened. Now that's interesting. What a beautiful spot this is though, eh? Hopefully it's not too, too windy for the drone. I can feel the wind. ATV trail keeps going that way. But uh, maybe we'll try and put her up and get a little bit of footage anyway. You guys like the drone video pretty sweet eh what a spot this is gorgeous look off right off the 3401 trail you guys should definitely come check this out of course take out all your trash or at least put it in the garbage bin over there uh, 
I had a uh, big, uh, big bald eagle flying around. I was like, oh, it'd be cool to get some footage of him because he was a little far away. And as I was getting footage of him, kind of like uh, going in the same direction he was going, he was ahead of it. Hopefully you guys see it on the video. If not, go back and check it out. But uh, he ended up swerving around and coming back towards me. And then I was in a big panic trying to get the drone back. <laughs> I thought he, for sure he was going to take it out. That would have sucked. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can't get a better spot than this. Uh, Right over there is uh, Poli Mountain. That's where we're gonna hopefully end up. All right. So as you guys can see, the arrows tell you where to go. There's a trail there. That you're not just going with your four wheeler, and that'll bring you over to another look off. Uh, it's pretty much all rock there. Another really cool spot. Maybe next fall, if I can get out, you know, before all these leaves fall off. I just, it was tough this year. And it meets back up here with the ATV trail. This is a beautiful trail down through here too. 3401, it's still the same trail. Nice with all the leaves are down and stuff. I got it all blocked off here because guys in uh, trucks and jeeps like to go on the ATV trails for some reason. It kind of ruins them, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. So this is the farm I was talking about. And uh, it's pretty cool. This trail goes right through this guy's farm. And he's cool with it as long as, you know, you're not a complete arsehole and ruin it for everybody else. So if you are coming down through here, definitely just, you know, take your time. Uh, try not to do any spinning. Definitely stay on the trail. Don't go in this guy's fields. Well, we can smell the cows and stuff. <laughs> Stinks, but I actually kind of like the smell, oddly enough. I'm a weird guy, I guess. Eh, got cow cattle in there. Just follow the yellow signs. Oh. So once again, they got the nice little trailhead. Imagine owning all this land. God, that'd be just awesome. Oh, uh, wild animal must have knocked that over. <laughs> Beautiful. But yeah, stop here and let Wendell stretch his legs. guys stopped at uh, not sure the exact name of this spot I just call it the farmers field look off but you don't know where I got that name from Watch that. beauty area I was just right up get my finger in the shot there, some bluffs, the farmers, place I just came from. But yeah. There you go. <laughs> that day, for no particular reason, I decided to go for a little run. No apparent reason, he just took off. Get out of here! Hit the trail. Wanna run, boy? You're zooming around, so let's make you run a little bit. 
he's gonna smell that, you watch. Makes him nervous. Yeah, it's got fur and stuff in it. That could be your fur if I don't watch you. time I was up here we went uh, right over there there's like a small little uh, like a deck thing with some seats it was nice so but uh, yeah we're gonna go up there and uh, get some video all right we're at the top beauty look off here that's where I just was Awesome. It's the four wheelers down there. I mean, I'm not crazy high, but gives you a nice perspective. Just leaving, uh, leaving the Lookoff Tower. Met some super nice people up there. They were uh, out exploring, and man, he was telling me how many kilometers he had on his different bikes. He had a couple different Hondas, and all of them had 30,000 kilometers on them. And he's got one up there right now, and it's got, ah, oh, geez, I wish I could remember, but a stupid amount of kilometers, 8,000 kilometers, and I think it's a 2020. So, I know a lot of people probably watch my videos and think I get to go out a ton and go all these trails, but there's guys out there that they ride 10,000 times more than I do. I mean, he's had multiple bikes over 30,000 kilometers. Oh, well, we're still just cruising along the 3401. Uh... Should be coming down to Walker Settlement Road soon. Really hope I can find these uh, Abbey houses. They're pretty cool looking. Look like a gingerbread house or something. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it until we see it. Is 
So I met back up with a group of people uh, I met at the tower, and they're going the same way I'm going. So I'm just gonna follow them. The guy in the front there is the guy I was saying he has a bunch of kilometers on his uh, four wheelers. Beautiful views here. This is Walker Settlement Road too, just so you guys know. Apparently he's taking me to a look off where uh, you're looking straight across at uh, at uh, the Friar's Nose, which is pretty cool. Oh, nice, beautiful, beautiful river here. Might be a spot to come back and have a little snack. I'm starving. Somebody's cabin. Man, oh man, the look-offs here are crazy. Just huge rock cliffs over there. The ATV trail is actually going the opposite way. This is just another side trail. Friar's nose is straight ahead right there. Peaks Friar's nose. Well, the group just left me. <laughs> Sounded weird, but uh, yeah, they're heading up to Adair's to grab supper. So pretty cool. He showed me this look off. Uh, it, it's so funny. I was over at Friar's nose. Uh, yep, right there. Looking this way, saying, oh, it sucks that they clear cut. And now here I'm here in the clear cut looking back at Friar's nose. But yeah, it's actually a really nice area. Lots of like big cliffs there. And then over here on the same thing. And there's a really, really nice uh, camp with a red metal roof right on the side of a cliff. I don't, I'll never be able to zoom in that far, I don't think. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, beautiful area. All right, we're just leaving that uh, look-off spot. It's actually beautiful right straight ahead. There's a straight down cliff. They're doing a ton of logging there, which is unfortunate. So the ATV trail keeps going right here. Uh, I'm not sure which number trail that is. I think that's the new one they just put in because there's a bunch of logging and stuff going on and construction up here. But I'm gonna head back down here. I've seen a nice river and uh, might have a little fire right by the river cook up some something I was gonna be for lunch but now it's getting closer to supper and then I'm gonna uh, jump on that dirt road swing it'll swing me back around to the trail 3401 well thought we'd just stop here by the brook have a little uh, Small little fire down here. And uh, cook up something to eat. There's some nice birch bark that somebody cut down. Beautiful, beautiful brook. Crystal clear water. Yeah, seems like a good enough spot. Nice rocky bottom here, close to the water. gathered up uh, some birch bark that was from a falling down tree. A bunch of these twigs are everywhere. Just gonna do classic lighter today. No bushcrafty stuff. Although that's what I wanted to do. But uh, it just got too late in the day. So basically you're just gonna obviously let the fire get burned down there. And uh, then we'll get, uh, I got a pork steak like I said. And I got a little small steak for one so. Well, uh, have something to eat. I think we're both pretty hungry. All right, it's probably all the fire we're gonna need. 
And uh, I know somebody's gonna ask me that grill. Uh, that uh, grill is in all my videos. It's a custom-made grill. My father made that. So no, you can't buy it. <laughs> Wendell's comfortable. Comfortable. He took my chair. That's all right. I got a small little steak for him. Nothing on it. And this is my pork steak. Uh, it just has Lowry's seasoning salt on it, pepper and garlic. And I'm gonna enjoy uh, Montelay. This is just a uh, kind of like a fizzy water with a lime flavor in it. Because I'm not a very bright man. I never said I was, but uh, I forgot my coffee thermos at home, full of coffee sitting there. So, water it is. Oh, I wish it was coffee. I wish it was a beer to be honest with you, but it's kind of frowned upon. That looks like a plate if I've ever seen one. Want some steak? Yes, it. Good boy. So I have to give it to him in uh, two feedings, or he'll just wolf it all down super quick. Okay, go get it. Good boy, Wendell. Hey, back up. Okay, get it. Get it. Good boy. Say so this is pretty much done. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. <clears throat> Wendell, zip it. If you guys hear anything going off, there's some guys over there with a shotgun. This, this, uh, if you hear a wolfing, that's my dog here. Yes, sir, nice and juicy. I hear a lot of people say they don't like pork because it's dry. If it's dry, that means you overcooked it. Mmm. scared me. <laughs> Man, this, uh, I had to go tell those guys that I'm over here. Just don't want them shooting this way. I do see Just my little... Every guy skeet shooting or doing whatever they're doing. This is so juicy, it's getting all over me. Wendell's not a fan. Sitting here growling at them.
they're interrupting our uh, supper, aren't they? Oh boy. Okay. Just a shotgun. They're right there. You can see them, see their truck. I'm going to finish this up. Get, uh, get cleaned up and we'll probably hit the trail. All right, we got the fire all out. Uh, just gonna pack up my stuff there, and I guess we're gonna hit the trail. It's a beauty spot here, I love it. Wish I owned this land right on this river, it'd be great. What do you think, Wendell? Well, pretty much out of water, it's just a tiny bit left. But uh, now when I go out, I always bring my Sawyer mini water filtration system. Pretty easy, comes with the bag. Fill the bag up out of the stream or your pond or lake. Screw this on. And we got some water. Alright, just pulled up out of there. I dug around where the fire was and uh, it's all sand under there, but I dug it all up and then I went and got, uh, I don't know, three or four more little Wendell containers of water. Dump that on there, just want to make sure, right? Last thing you want is to start to, uh, oh man, if I knew I, I was the cause of a forest fire, oh my God. But I mean, it's, I know you see a lot of dead leaves, but everything in here is wet, very, very damp. It's a really nice road. Well, I'm still in four wheel drive because I was pulling up out of that uh, spot where I, uh, that was a giant chunk of chaga. Look at the size of that chunk of chaga. Wow. If you guys don't know what chaga is, it's a, it's a fungus that grows usually on uh, birch trees, white and yellow. And uh, you can use it for making teas. It's supposed to be really healthy for you. And the inner part, uh, like the orange part, uh, can be used for uh, fire, fire, fire lighting. All right, uh, I think this is one of the Abbey houses, they call it. Not exactly sure why, but it's pretty cool. It's built all out of stone. What a cool, uh, what a cool camp. It's right here on the river. Beautiful. Anyways, I don't want to disrupt anybody too much. Apparently there's two of these. I'm happy to see one, but it'd be cool to see the other one too. Really neat house. Or camp, I think. Yeah, when I was traveling down this road, apparently Brook Road, I could look over and I could see the uh, Friar's nose, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep going this way and then the blue line is gonna be the trail I need to get on. And I'll need to go left. Well, we're back on the 3401 trail. Uh, I'm gonna have to take this one back. No problem here, I love this trail, it's beautiful. If you guys come to Sussex, uh, I would recommend parking where I did and taking the 3401 trail all the way through. Go up the pulley, go where I did, uh, check out all those look-offs and stuff. Oh, we're on the road again, sent a quick text, took a leak. Coming down uh, the farmer's uh, trail here. Oh, ran over a stick.
I had enough of one, I dropped him off at the top of the hill. Just kidding, he's going for one last uh, run. He's not panting at all. Pretty sure he's tired though, just being out here like this all day tires him out. Hey, come here. Good boy. Oh, okay. Hey, you were booting her there, buddy. Oh, you ran in the mud puddle too, I don't like that. Owl. Wouldn't Wendell like to get out here and sniffing around all the little critters that would be in around here? Oh, the freaking about 12 cats right there. Old barn cats. That's all we need is one of them to get ganged up and beat up by a bunch of cats. Well, she's starting to get pretty dark. I just stopped back there. Uh, took the trail around the trail that's the trail I took to go to the look off and the trail like the actual ATV trail keeps going there but everybody goes to the look off so that trail's a little bit rough this trail was like glass not a hundred percent sure but uh, yep pretty sure this is Chaga we're gonna Right on. So what you have to do is you have to take that and let it dry out totally. And then uh, you kind of break a chunk off and put it in your tea. Yeah, we're getting just getting back to the truck here now. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, definitely hit the subscribe. Uh, I know something like 60% of you guys that watch my videos don't subscribe. So subscribe for sure, it really helps me out. Hit that thumbs up if you liked the video. If you liked the video or didn't like the video, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you liked or didn't like. Uh, I, re I read everyone, I reply to every single message. So uh, yeah, I guess that's everything. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys on the next one. Cheers. Good, Wendell? Did you have fun? Yeah, you did, but you're ready to go home, aren't you? Oh, yeah. There you are, buddy. Shake it off. Yes, sir.